It's Teen Tech Vlog, and I'm back with another video. Probably, you know, shouldn't even be able to say that because I suck at putting videos out. But I am actually here today, and the background's going to keep changing for the next few weeks because I'm keeping on moving from place to place. But here's the first big thing I want to talk to you guys about today. A dedicated AI chip in the iPhones. And that's really cool for some really big reasons. So, of course... Apple, Siri, Android, Google Assistant, Microsoft, Cortana, so on and so forth. The way phones and tablets use virtual assistants, though, it's really the power is coming from a combination of the CPU and the GPU. But what Apple's trying to do, according to like the latest rumors, and, you know, coming up in you know iPhone 7s, iPhone 8, iPhone X, iPhone Edition, whatever they're gonna call it. There's going to be a dedicated chip for artificial intelligence. And that's so cool for so many reasons because they can make it more power efficient. And you're not necessarily going to notice a big performance bog down because the CPU is not going to be... How am I trying to wear this? CPU won't necessarily be... That was a Kim Possible ringtone. That, that was a Kim Possible ringtone. Uh, the CPU will not be bogged down by first getting the request saying, hey, Wi-Fi chip, send this request, or hey, LTE, or 4G, or 3G chip, send this information to the servers, get it down. That will all be handled by the AI chip, which is slightly cool because right now also the CPU is kind of always getting bogged down because of the always on or always listening Siri, but that's only if the phone's facing up and you're not on low power mode. But that they currently use the motion coprocessor, I think, if I remember correctly, to be able to achieve that. But I think it'd be super cool if they had the AI chip. I think that's something really interesting and a really great technology to look into, mostly because it's... I'm trying to word this properly. I see that the way they're going to do this, I think when September rolls around, either Craig Federighi, Phil Schiller, or Tim Cook's going to say, it's our most amazing iPhone yet for these reasons. And then Johnny Ives' video is going to come, and he's going to be like, we've designed the new whatever chip they're going to call it to be able to handle all your requests, but be able to do something else. And then they're going to unveil probably a series eyes feature, which actually is in my iOS 11 concept that I'm going to be talking about very soon. And be like, this new trip, this new chip radically changes the way you use your iPhone in everyday life. And it'll they'll probably show off like faster Siri response times, be able to put more Siri features into it. You know what would be actually really cool though, is a little bit of offline Siri capability, right? Um, like, kind of merging the old voice control with Siri, so you can be like Siri, play the song. And Siri would be like, I'm not connected to the internet, but okay, gotchi, gotti. So that's something really interesting to look forward to. Um, and of course, like the series eyes free, maybe we'll get always on listening. I I think out of all the companies, that's... And the phone rings, of course. I should have known better than to even try at this. Yeah, so that's pretty much all. I think this AI chip is going to be something really, really cool, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, stay tuned, I'm going to have a video about my iOS 11 concept that I created, an iPhone September launch idea I came up with. So stay tuned for that. I think um, they're pretty interesting and I'm going to share them with everyone. So stay tuned for that. As always, I don't really have a catchphrase. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, but anyways, have a great day.